So, if you're looking for a GPS kit, you might be wondering what is the most accurate lens of AF. And Raymond will tell you more about that. So, what is the most accurate lens of AF? I will compare this complete GPS kit with my van. Very easy. This part, the app and the rocket tablet itself, are my steering wheel and my pedals and my shifting gear. This external GNS receiver is my engine. So without the engine, and I only have a steering wheel and my pedals, and I cannot drive forward. Same thing for the GPS kit. What Raymond means is that this external GNS receiver sends its position to the tablet. And the lens of app that's on the tablet will be able to use the position of the GNS receiver like when you use the steering wheel and the pedals in the car. So, to be honest, the Land Survey app does not have anything to do with the accuracy because the accuracy comes from the engine or the GNS receiver. On the top left from AppGloss Survey Wizard, the software, you can see the four types of fix. First one, we see SPS. And SPS means that the circle you are surveying in will be around 10 meters plus. Then the next one, G. Then the next one, G. Then the next one, G. The next accuracy is G. G. Then the next fix, G. The next fix. The GPS has an accuracy of 1 to 5 meters. <laughs> then the float RTK will be around 15 to 20 centimeters and then of course the last one RTK it is a centimeter accuracy so lens of AF and gloss of AVS has some tricks around accuracy of course the first thing what there is is the accuracy security normally when you lens of a, you want to have an RTK fix which is the most accurate fix but as you can see here we have float RTK so if now we want to map a point then it gives a warning that we don't have an accurate position to change this you go to the file menu other settings you click on the expert settings and you agree and then you can scroll down and we can change the fix the accepted fix to float after that we click on ok and now when we want to try to map a point with float rtk we can click and now we map a point with float rtk this is very helpful when you want to try to survey trees and when you don't need the position to be that accurate there is another thing what we can do and that is to go to box menu and click on survey accurate after that we can click on point and now I have to hold still the complete GPS kit and with that it will calculate the average of, uh, of all positions within 20 seconds and this is the accurate point if you want to land survey the most accurate, fill in the course in the land survey app, the Apple survey wizard. If you want to know how, please check this video. I'm sure you will enjoy it.